So it's been a few days for me since I played. I've been slacking off. Well, hello again. You seem to be doing all right. Need anything forged? I think I'm going to go to the catacombs now. Some people have suggest suggested that. Um, of course, people keep telling me my weapons suck. Uh, I don't really know what weapon to use. My strength's pretty low. One thing I was thinking of here is upgrading my uh, my my elite knight armor. I looked um, I looked up this set in my guide, and when it gets upgraded to plus fifteen, it's still a pretty good set. Uh, my other option is. I'll be safe. Be careful out there. One thing I'm guessing is if I go into the catacombs, it's probably useful to have a strike type weapon. Um, let's see, regular type. I think the the morning star that I picked up earlier in the game was a strike type weapon. Let's see if I should have that somewhere. And I'll just zoom past it. And I think, yeah, this morning star here. Uh, it's not a particularly good weapon, but most of the strike weapons are hammers. I think, well, they're all hammers. Um, or maces or whatever this category is called. And so I looked and there really isn't anything much better than the Morning Star that I can use if I want a strike type weapon. Um, the other option are the great hammers like these, but they all require tons of strength, which I don't have right now. Um, I think I also, I think someone told me that I need divine weapons uh, if I want to permanently kill the skeletons. Um, I'm not sure if I really have a divine weapon. Maybe that white ring down there means it's divine type. Uh, so maybe it's worth upgrading this or something. Oh, but I don't even have enough faith for that, do I? Uh, I don't know if I'll be putting myself at a big disadvantage if I don't get, if I don't use divine type weapons in the catacombs. And I'm not sure I want to spend um, souls to upgrade a morning star either. I'm feeling kind of cheap. I feel like if anything, I would just want to upgrade my upgrade my like elite knight armor. Oh, that's right. Someone else told me. In fact, maybe that's what I'll go do right now. People have been telling me that I forgot the stone, the stone uh, set. I think that's what it's called. I've seen it before. It's basically like the mini version of what those giant stone knights wear. Um, I think this is the fastest way to go there. Uh, let me see. You have to go all the way down to Darkroot Basin. I guess this is the fastest way. Well, because you have to get to the forest area. Carrying a fair amount of souls on me. Hopefully I don't do anything stupid here. Oh, I guess I kill these things in two hits now. Oh, I want to check and see if I'm... Okay, I'm a hollow. I don't think I've ever been a human while I was in the forest. Because, of course... If you're a human in the forest, uh, that's not the right way now, is it? Uh, you can be invaded. If any of you who's ever playing this game watching, you probably know about this already, but I actually haven't taken, I haven't participated in any of the invading that goes on in the forest. I haven't been invaded, I haven't been an invader. I, in an earlier video, I saw Alvina, the cat, but I didn't realize I could have talked to her. Oh, I think there was also something else I noticed. My guide was... So these... Oh, these... Golem dudes, or whatever they're called. Crystal golems. Apparently after you beat the Hydra, there's like an orange colored one. 
And if you defeat him, then it like unlocks some NPC. Oh, I guess I haven't fought these dudes in a little while. I'm not sure if I really want to fight them out multiple at a time. I just got some delayed in Yeah, I knew that was actually going to happen. Someone told me about that in the comments. So there's like a bug where sometimes with the action queue, like I clicked R1 there and it didn't do anything until I let go of the shield. So yeah, I don't really like where this is going. Apparently there's an orange, more of an orange colored one of these dudes. I don't know if it's that guy here. I don't know if he's like only rarely appears or you have to kill him right after the Hydra. I didn't see an orange color crystal golem. It's not a big deal to me because the NPC that appears is like for sorcery. I don't have any intention of doing sorcery on this character for now. Next priority should probably be upgrading my strength so I can actually use some of these better weapons. So I think I'm trying to remember the safest way to do this. I think so I, I know where this is. The armor is by it's right it's right near Alvina, the cat. Um, it's in that, like, stone staircase ruins place. And this is pretty good armor. It, uh, it, the, the downsides are stamina reduction decrease. Um, I mean, what did I say? Stamina re reduction decrease? I mean, stamina regeneration decrease. And... It, of course, just weighs a lot. I can't remember what my... I can equip 106. Seems like I'm pretty burdened as it is. I'm just going to pick this up anyway. I don't know if I'm going to use it for sure. I suppose I could also fight Sif while I was here. I don't really know what the fastest way to get back to this staircase thing is. The main annoyance in here, I think, are just those mushrooms. This place really isn't too dangerous. Uh, hopefully they leave me alone. I'm trying to find this staircase. Could even join in with Alvina's Covenant if I felt like it. I'll probably just get owned if I do any of this PvP here right now. Seems like a big place to do PvP and not very tailored for PvP at the moment. So here it is. Stone armor set. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be over 50% if I equip a lot of this. You see the difference is 39 defense. Um, and the stone set is like over double that. Uh, the weight is not double, but the reduction to stamina regeneration is, I'm not sure how bad that is, it might suck. It also defends pretty well against magic from what I can tell. I could put like just the body of this on and keep myself under equip uh, 50% or I probably don't need to have two shields on at the same time. I don't remember if this shield is... I've been upgrading my armored shield of course, so... or I mean my hollow shield, so I probably don't need to care about this other shield. Where is it? 68 physical. My other one's currently uh, 82. So I think I just equipped this other one for fire defense. I don't remember. I'll get rid of that. That brings me back down to 46.7. So to standard 50, 103.25. Did I say 103, 53.25? So I have about seven more. Uh, 
Let's see what I look like. I think the legs weigh the second most. Let's see, it should all be at the bottom of my inventory. 10.4, wow, that's a lot. But I guess I'm swapping out the other armor at the same time, so it's not pure addition. Let's see what the gauntlets 10.4. Oh, that puts me over. Those gauntlets are pretty big. I could do some math here and determine if it's worth it to have the helmet, or I could decide if I don't even want to roll. I don't. I don't have to be able to roll at all. Uh, I guess it reduces my run speed too, I think. Let's get somewhere where I can actually run. So my natural walk speed is this, I'm over 50. And then my run speed is that. It seems pretty slow. If I take off the helmet, I should be under it. So yeah, it's definitely a difference. And I at least get a somewhat normal roll, although I don't really ever roll. Put this on, my roll turns into that. The question is, do I want to barely be over the limit? And get increase of uh, I'm not sure. Let's see what my total defense. Two, 272 versus putting on just both of the elite pieces for the helmet. 245. Oh, I didn't compare all the subcategories of strike and whatnot and magic, but I'm guessing it's better to have just the... oops, I put the wrong things on. Guessing overall it's better to just have uh, an extra part of the stone set. See, I'm barely under it here. Let's see what the helmet weighs. Helmet actually weighs less. So gauntlets probably provide more defense. 54 versus... Yeah. So I guess I'll just roll for the roll with this for a little while. I could I guess let's see what covenant am I covenant am I in? I think I'm in the dragon covenant still. Uh I think I read I read online there was like a kind of makeshift meeting place for people wanting to duel for dragon scales. I don't know if you lose I can't remember if you lose half your souls, but you put down your like dragon eye thing and and then you you like duel someone and the winner gets a scale or something like that. I don't know if I would lose half my souls though. So I don't really know if I want to dick around here too much right now. I could just talk to this cat and join this covenant. But I don't think I don't know if I want to necessarily do this right now. Uh could at least talk to her, I suppose. I don't think Is she's gonna reject. So that thou art new, thou fared well to find me. But cometh thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. <laughs> Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. Uh, I, I'm not sure I followed what she just said. Oh, uh, in terms of which one of these will make me join her. I'll just say yes. Oh, well, indeed. Thou art a strange one. Nevertheless, I feel some liking for thee. I'm Alvina of the Darkroot Wood. I command a clan of hunters who track down defilers of the forest graves. What dost thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes, I believe we would suit thee well. 
Now, I'm not sure if there's some stuff you want to do before you join them because uh, once you join them, I'm not sure if you're really allowed to leave. I guess maybe you can, but you can't like attack them, of course. I'm just going to say no for now. Hopefully she's, she doesn't get pissed it's off. A pity indeed. But this is thine stubborn choice alone. I cannot enforce it upon thee. If thine mind should be altered, forsooth speak to me once more. Yeah, I'll, I'll deal with this place later. I think I'm going to come back and do... Uh, well, of course, I'll fight Sif eventually. But right now I just want to try a new place. I'm going to the catacombs. And maybe Sen's Fortress. It'd be really nice to have the item that lets me warp between bonfires right about now. Oops, looks like I walked directly into Mushroom City. It's kind of tempting to just go back and fight Sif again. Well, the thing is, I kind of like Sif. I don't really want to kill him. I also wouldn't be surprised if I still would have some difficulty with him at this time. There is a faster way to get through here. Get to here. It's through the, the sealed door, which costs twenty thousand souls. But I'm I'm a little too cheap for that right now. So I'll just venture back to the blacksmith again. So I'm back at the blacksmith, and I think I'll upgrade a weapon, maybe my mace, well, for the catacombs. Uh, There's the crest. I don't want to buy that. I think, I think I saw, yeah, he also sells a war pick. I could also buy this and then upgrade this. It's only slightly better than my morning whatever it's called uh, I think I think the uh, I'll be seeing you there I think the morning star actually has bleed though where is it? Yeah. This hammer inflicts thrust damage and causes bleed. Wait, what was that? Oh wait, why is this thrust type? I thought this was strike type. I thought this was the reason it killed those skeletons faster than my spear did. Uh, that's kind of confusing to me. Well, I don't really understand that. Let me actually equip it, see what the difference is. God, I can never find anything in this inventory. It doesn't look very thrusty to me. Yeah, if I recall, I used this with much more effectiveness against the skeletons. Hmm. I could just also not upgrade this. So let's see, what else could I do? I could upgrade my Pyromancer Flame. Well, uh, you... It's really not that expensive to upgrade this, though. I'd like to be able to use one of these clubs, but 
Just give them ridiculous strength requirements. I guess the club isn't that bad. I'm surprised how many things are like plus 40 or more strength. So, I could just upgrade this to like 5 and this is barely any souls. It's not really worth thinking about. Because I can just buy these here. So it never hurts to have too many of these. I don't even know if I'm going to use this stupid morning star, but oh well. I have a feeling this will should come more in more uh, handy for the skeletons. Go get your no. I sh might have enough for a level. I can't remember what the level cost is up to now. Looks like I have enough. I could start going for strength for once. It's tempting to keep going for this when I'm so clo to, close to maximum equip. I guess I'll, I'll start putting some points into strength. My endurance doesn't have to be perfectly 40. I keep forgetting Sense Fortress is opened up right over there now. I'm not really sure. Uh, I think Sense Fortress, of course, actually has more of an effect on the storyline. I don't... I don't really know what the point of the catacombs are right now. I'm not really sure how many bosses you, like, actually have to fight in this game to clear the game. Seems like you'd probably get away with not killing a lot of them. Like, Sif, for example, I don't... doesn't seem like I would have to kill Sif. So I believe... I'm not exactly sure about the catacombs location. I believe someone has told me that it is near this graveyard where there are skeletons. Well, apparently I missed it the first time I ran in there. Not really sure if I want to go in human form. 